Hey guys, back again. I got a new deck profile like I said I was going to do. It's on Metagross GX. It's a deck that I uh, personally thought was going to be good going into this format, despite people saying that stage twos were cloggy and they sucked and you're a fucking scrub. What are you doing, you piece of shit? And then, you know, whatever. So here I am. Uh, so yeah, Metagross, I feel like it's really good. It's really tanky. You can't one hit this thing very easily. It's just the problem is, you know, getting to a certain point in the game, setting up, and uh, which we tried to fix that in this version of the deck. It's a little bit different than some builds, um, but we'll go over it and I'll uh, we'll explain some reasonings. So, first of course the lineup, we got four Metagross, uh, one Matang, and four Beldum. I tried to play the deck without the Matang and just a straight up Rare Candy Focus, going to Beldum, Beldum straight to Metagross, uh, but it wasn't, there was just moments where I needed the Matang, uh, so it just had to be in here. Um, got one Delmise, so you can hit those 190 numbers, 190 is still important on certain Pokemon. Got one Soto Widow, uh, Soto Widow is proven to be very good this format, against Zorark decks especially, because this version of the build is running Metal Frying Pan, so Metal Frying Pan and Soto Widow against Zorark means that they're hitting your Metagross for 70 uh, without Choice Band, 100 with Choice Band, so they're three-shotting your Metagross, and you know, when you're three-shotting a Metagross, then you're winning that, you're winning that game. Uh, uh, one resource management, just in case you need to get a few things back. Um, and then finally, uh, two lately's. Uh, this is a, uh, it's not, there's, this deck doesn't have many counters to shrine decks, but Metagross itself is a counter to a shrine deck because they're, they're having troubles one hitting it anyway, one hitting it, two hitting it, you know, and like I said, if you're three to four shotting on Metagross, then you're in trouble. Uh, four Cynthia's and... Four lilies for the draw power. Just the four lilies so you maximize your odds of getting it turn one so you can get as many Beldums down as possible and get as many rare candies and Metagross into your hand as possible for a turn two Metagross. Uh, sometimes turn, you know, two Metagross turn two and then at that point you're fine. You don't even need the algorithm at that point. Uh, but the goal is to get turn two Metagross, algorithm turn two, and then potentially get three Metagross set up. And then three Guzmas. It's a very light supporter count. A lot of cards that you can just play so you can maximize Lily turn one. And we got four Ultra Balls and four Nest Balls, four Rare Candies, four Acrobikes. Again, just trying to just dig through your deck to get to these pieces so you can get to that optimal setup. And then four metal frying pan. Uh, I feel like metal frying metal frying pan is a fantastic card. Uh, that 30 less damage on every attack just makes it where your your opponent's just not killing Metagross easily. And Metagross is already hard to kill. So I thought just a heavy, heavy count of frying pan would you know decks like uh, Rayquaza they would need one more energy to do it um, and just uh, every other deck that's already two shotting becomes a three shot most of the time so you know uh, it was more a defensive build it's more of a longer paced deck build and just going for one shot one shot one shot um, two choice bands because you do need to hit 180 180 KOs Rayquazas and they're not having an easy time KOing you back if they if their setup gets hindered. So they still needed three max potion because max potion is you know busted in this deck. Um, healing is great and the uh, wondrous constructor. There's a lot of like certain items like max potion you obviously cannot play turn one, uh, but most of the items are just instant play. So you do maximize your willies. And then for energy, we got three, six, nine. Just uh, I want to play more because I want to see it. A lot of the times I end up algorithm getting a couple of energies and then like an ultra ball so I can discard them and then turn three have the, uh, or turn two have the, well turn three, yeah. 
Turn two, double Metagross. Uh, turn three, triple Metagross. And then once you have three in discard pile, you're just rolling. A lot of the times you do need to draw into more uh, if you only have two Metagross, just so you can keep chaining attacks. Um, but uh, that is the deck profile. It's very quick, very simple. A lot of big numbers. Uh, because we just want to we want to, want to get to this guy as fast as possible. I think he's really good currently in the format. There's not a lot of things I can handle him. I played him at the League Cup. I lost to it because I was playing Shrine and I just couldn't hit the numbers that Metagross was. And it was just one hit everything in the deck. Resistance to the Psychic. So Garbodor was, you know, you manage items in Metagross. And, you know, Garbodor's just poking and it's doing nothing. Uh, but I think it's a good choice. I think it's a really good deck. Is This is the deck that I played in the video versus Rayquaza. And I 2 owed would Rayquaza because I got set up pretty nicely. Um, it's not as inconsistent as most people will make you try to believe. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Until next time.